theaters who've scored a couple of double hundreds in this competition altogether and they've restricted them to 137 138 is what they need at less than seven runs and over a look at the crowd that's built up here it's an amazing sight but for the moment there is that huddle Dhaka know they've got their job cut out for them they've got to come in firing on all cylinders but have a look at that for a crowd gosh it will gladden any cricketer's heart to see uh, this is the kind of support he has uh, for a game where he's playing not often do you get a jam-packed stadium this is not a full house this is full house into two delivery and he's away what a shot what a beginning Tommy McBall at his best that is off to get off the mark it was pitched up picture perfect right from the copy book dead straight down the ground and four well he held his position for the cameras that will be clicking away for that photograph tomorrow morning oh he's gone after him and he's connected handsomely that is six talk about taking singles come on to play some good shots that is down the pitch and down the ground for a huge six the previous one was a gorgeous looking shot but that one is also a very good one 80 meters is the distance what an explosive start that is for Durunto Rashai. Chittagong take the field. Oh, he's gone over the top. And he's gone through. Come with a predisposed idea that he's going to go after the bowling and it's succeeding at the moment. Yeah, he didn't time it to perfection, but got enough legs. He went down the pitch and didn't come from the middle part of the bat. But once he beat that fielder at the position, in the air and he's gone what a good catch that is Charles Coventry could not deal with that bounce he was playing with a straight bat the one they wanted this is a sensational catch just have a look at this oh, that was going very very quickly and Darren Stevens pluck it out from the nowhere what a catch he sent back the one of the batsmen in top form it's Charles Coventry who has to go back to the pavilion to get out at this moment Flicked away for there will be ample opportunities for uh, Tamim and Simon Gadage for delivery. But to be anything but very straight. Now that is outside leg stump. That's the slower delivery. Yes, he's got to bowl the slower deliveries. That was absolutely easy for responsibility. Well, there's no stopping him today. He outmaneuvered Mashrafi Murtami Mikbal. Well, it's a slow delivery and takes his right leg away and hits it over the top of the infield. We mentioned that there are five fielder inside the circle on the offside. And if he gets an opportunity, he hit it over the top of the infield. And once he manages to do that, he will find the boundary. This is a terrific shot. This has been a terrific inning. No question about that. The over. And a third one. Not very intended. But he knows there's no third man. Or good thing for Tamim Iqbal is that whenever he goes down the pitch, he goes at it very hard. I mean, look at that, the way he tried to play that shot. Really pumped up. And even if he gets an outside edge, it flies over to the third man and gets to the boundary. That's the way to do it. This is almost uh, Jekyll and Hyde kind of uh, Tamim Iqbal. wonder what he is today. But wow, take that! That is boundary number four. What an exciting Tamim Iqbal we are watching today. Try though. Alfonso Thomas cannot believe it. Found an outside edge. It should have been taken. He went with the right hand, a single hand. But uh, you would expect him to pick these catches. And what an important time this is for uh, Dhaka Gladiators to strike. As he does now. And he's gone. <laughs> Alfonso Thomas. Take a bow. Uh, on the cards, the way he had batted, I, you know, I was afraid that that's, this just might happen. Twist of the bat in the hand, spoons up, soft dismissal as you mentioned, but a big wicket. The essence of this league. Oh, that's going to run away for runs. That'll require some chasing down and it's not possible. The inside edge. But Unaveira also going down the pitch. And uh, luckily for him, just getting an inside edge. Going through that vacant area, he's gone behind him. So there's no chance for Alfonso Thomas to come from deep square leg to cover that one. And nearly a collusion. 
Nicely avoided though in the end. Yeah, he was looking at the ball, the mimic ball. And now it's Munavira's turn. What a confident shot that is. He just stood his ground and made sure that the blade followed. It's a very good shot indeed. Once again pitched up. And when you have the field inside the circle, these are easy pickings. I think um, Mashivi Murtaza is missing a trick here. You need to have your spinners coming in the bowl straight away because you're not defending a very big total. And we saw what the spinner did to Dhaka Gladiators. Oh, wonderful hit. This young man is an impressive back and over hitting it. He's just caressing the delivery. This is a gorgeous looking shot of the back foot on the up and playing with the full face of the bat. Lovely shot. Any youngsters watching it. Left elbow high up in the air. Beautiful finish. Has he got him? No, he just passes the outside edge. There was some sound. The field. Not letting this partnership develop. It's got 20 of 19. Third man comes up. It's just the first over for him in BPL 2. Darren Stevens. Content with a single. So maybe you need to think about the fact that you want to plug, maybe get another man in the circle and plug those singles. Force them to do something that they don't want to at this stage. Three times. Slip that one through. Up together also in for his first knock. And he'll get off the mark with a wonderfully timed sweep shot. Just drifting down leg and uh, despite the fact that he's just come into bat. Looked like he's got good eyes. Look at that, right over that, swept it, swept it into the ground. No opportunities for anyone to get anyone near it. Placement perfect and the result a very welcome boundary. I thought that was going to go over his head and Mosharraf was in Rubel strikes. Good catch. Took him a while to judge it. Simon Katic. He was the key. He was the man who needed to bat through. And generally in these conditions, the sweep shot is a very good option. The slowness, forcing the downfall, had to reach for it. Five off to the series with the bat. Tournament for uh, uh, we're going to Dhaka very soon, so you think people will be welcoming us there? Looking forward to that. Uh, exciting, more crowds there. I expect that the crowd uh, in Dhaka will be much. Good option. Adjusted his body so he could go inside out and surprised the bowler. It came from nowhere. A great punch dealt by Sean Irvine. And what a great strike this is. Uh, even uh, the president uh, of the Bangladesh Cricket Board mentioning it. I've seen him take good catches. I can't remember him dropping anything. This game. That shot and pulled away. That is a very good shot. Bisecting those two fielder. Important Ezra. Powerful shot. Off the back foot. He had bisected them perfectly. Good shot. He waited on it. Didn't commit. Now they've got that all important boundary. Take it easy. For that appeal against the hope, they have, other than a shuffle, of course, tried almost every option. Seven ballers tried so far. That's in the air. There's a fielder. It's got together. He's paid the price. Little the man. Those slow balls doing the trick. He was there for a long while. That was a wild pull by Kapu Gedra, but that perfect plan worked for Chris Little into the safe hands of Cobb. Delightful Little. Why not? That's a key wicket indeed. Set batsman has gone. Super over comes to an end. A wicket and three runs. For a victory here. That's in the air. So this will be another wicket. It will be the captain. Well judged in the end. Made a meal of it. But Darren Stevens. Here it was Kebu Gedra. This time Jehural coming down the track. And that was... Lofted shot coming down high from the sky. Well judged by Stevens and Chidogon Kings. That's another one. He's, he's faced five balls. 
five dots. And then Nick Mark either. And he was just trying to open the place of the bait, but that was so fast for him. Against expectations, the great take in the end behind the wickets by Namul. An easy one, rather. But little has stood up, but he's been put away for four. A welcome boundary, but still a long way to go. 16 was going at a rate. Abu Hassan put that away. The last ball from Chris Little's over. Good pull shot. Found the gap for a change. A chronistic. He's giving himself room. Well, he had to go for it. He's out, Abu Hassan. That was the only hope he had. Tajul Islam. But doesn't pay off. Great stuff from Enamul Haq. That was the only option to go for. He had. Gain gives himself room. Khan get back to ball. Taizul Islam. Themselves to blame. Not good enough. Got to end the innings. That's it. Fifth win for the Dhaka Gladiators. They close the gap on the Select Royals at the top. Seemed unlikely to most parts of this game but Mashrafi Murtaza don't think he believes it as yet once again a vital knock Oesha giving his team something to bowl at but Alfonso a certain gap or after that explosive start by Tamim Iqbal then he must have stunned seeing that result the Dhaka Gladiators have beaten Duranto Rajshahi that too in the end quite convincingly but that was courtesy some great decisions by Mashafi Murtaza and they truly deserve this victory that is absolutely gutted now Dhrantur Shahi started off with an explosion Tamim Iqbal was all over the place as far as hitting is concerned but Coventry, Katic and Munavira that was a tailor-made situation for all of them but they couldn't live up to the expectations and after that, Kabu Kedra had some resistance to show, but Erwin, Jehurul and Abul were just not good enough for Durantur Shahi. So they were just restricted to 1-2-4 with one bracket remaining. The opening partnership of Tamim with Coventry and then with Katic were too quick but too short for Durantur Shahi. Imana Veda chipped in and with Kabu Kedra and Katij and Erwin and Jehurul just trying their level best during the middle part of the innings but that was not good enough for, for Duranto Rajshahi. Dhaka Gladiators, they decided that they will attack with the medium paces or the fast ballers. Murtaza, Thomas, Little all just provided their own contribution although Murtaza was a little expensive but still Musharraf, Cobb and Steven covered that up with two wicket seats for Little, Sajib and Musharraf and you can see that there were four wickets in regular intervals and that was the reason why Dhaka Gladiators couldn't end up on the winning side. Dhaka Gladiators started with a little bit of blip but Away Shah was the man who stood, who started off slowly and took his time and in the end give a final total to Dhaka Gladiators on which they could bowl upon. Duranto Rajshahi had an explosive start but couldn't hold on to that one and Dhaka Gladiators in the end won by 13 runs and with this they have got their fifth victory of the BPL2. We'll take a short break and after that we'll be back with the presentation ceremony but until